Hello everybody and welcome back to Dogbog Plays Age of Wonders Planet Fall uh, Galactic Empire Edition uh, with Breaking the Stream. And uh, yeah, when we last left off, we were uh, closing out the uh, the planet here, we're moving our way down. Uh, yeah, looks like uh, the Children's Crusade down here uh, met uh, a bunch of stuff. Um, I, I mean, probably will be able to handle it actually, so... Uh, let's go ahead and dismantle it uh, while we are looking at it. So we'll, we'll move like this. Okay, so who has the best movement? We'll, we'll just use one of the flyers. Uh, yeah, we'll be good. Um, yeah, let's use our tactical ops. Why not? And then we'll uh, crush this out. Yeah, we lost the scryer. Not a big deal. Okay, so then down here, we can move the rest of our units. Yeah. Yeah, okay. And can you... Yeah, you can just circle around like that, and we'll kill them off like this. Just fine. Perfect. Very good. Uh, and then what I'll do is I'll move these, these units down to... Uh, kill Jewel I'll uh, I have my leader stack moving south uh, to do the other thing. Um, yeah. So we got virtual hey. hospitality. Um, yeah, we can clear up this stuff here. Ooh, you can't stand on a relay. Oh, you can't stand on a relay. You just can't stand on a relay uh, in conquest mode, which is interesting. Those super relays you get. Uh, yeah, uh, we'll... We'll crush that one. <laughs> and you know what? Let's watch the replay. Uh, just so you can see what these exemplars are doing. Uh, can I slow it down? Yeah, I can. So we'll play this one out a little slower. Uh, you know, we'll play the enemy turns fast, but then we'll play our, our turns a little slower. So, let's see what they do. You know what? Let's uh, <laughs> speed it up. There, I'm gonna slow it down now. See what the exemplar are doing. Just kind of okay. The bacon just regenerate. Nineteen damage. Yeah, they're really picking on those bees. That damage. There we go. Lots of protection. Okay. 30 damage. Not too bad. As 34. The yeah, the Elysian Camp Vault is a pretty solid upgrade. You can see the beacon and the defender of pollen is just working its way uh, <coughs> through. It's it's pretty good. Uh, power Fist like, did 10 damage. Enemy 45. Oh, that's nice. Enemy eliminated. Yeah, it's a flower fun. Enemy Just get them out way too late, you know, before you can actually do anything with them, since they're such a late game tech, of course. You know, it'd be nice, actually, if they uh, they rebalanced it in a way so Our that your units' are techs are actually very quick to research versus the mods. And, uh, because, honestly, like, the mods make the unit, Objective right? complete. More so than the other stuff. I uh, oh, I can't really... <clears throat> Can't go back and take a look at that, but eh, it's okay. Um, crumbling peak. Yeah. Come down this way, I guess. Yeah, let's let's go down that way, and I can just sweep through and then down. Okay. Yeah. So let's go down this way and uh, start dealing with uh, these guys here. Oh no. Oh well. If they attack us, we'll get to see an interesting fight. And if I lose, I can manual it and Production then we can have some ready. fun with our, uh, our big fancy unit. Uh, residential, whatever, yeah. Okay, and then we can come down here and start clearing these guys. The last of the Therians on the planet. It's a pretty close fight. We'll just uh, go in as it is, just to end it. Of course they spawn, right? This is how it always works. <laughs> yeah. So we ended it uh, thusly. We got a particle accelerator. I'm just going to pawn. And I believe that's the last Therian presence on the map. So we are no longer at war with the Therians, in my opinion. Um, okay. So everybody's good here. 
We got uh, new tech. Um, yeah. Let's just get some future tech at this point. Um, okay, so we dismantled everything. We're going to move down towards the uh, jewel here. So let's move these guys corner. There we go. And then we'll just go. Dawn of a new union would be interesting. Neo evangelicals. And it doesn't matter. Uh, let's just grab global information control and unbreakable vows. All right. Uh, I don't know. Mystic military care. Oh, you can actually uh, annex something. This whole game, I've been waiting for you to do that. Uh, okay. Resuda. Uh, uh, virtual. Annex another sector. I don't care. Okay. Probably inching closer to that victory uh, condition. Yeah, but it doesn't matter at this point. Since we'll be able to dismantle uh, Jewel probably in the next, like, four... Or five turns here. And, uh, yeah. We'll see how that goes. Because we, yeah, we just killed a bunch of our units and it was, like, not even close. <laughs> um, part of me, though, wants to eliminate the other two players just because of, um, where we are. But, uh, we'll see. If we're at a point where. Because, uh, I don't know, fatigue might be setting in on this particular planet, so um, I'm not too concerned with uh, maximizing my potential return here. Um, Alright, so let's... You fool. Okay, that's fine. Uh, Earth disrupts uh, something, something, crystals. Okay. Um, okay, yeah, you're not near anything. Alright, so we'll move these guys down, these growth... Can come down here and you'll be just fine and then you can come into here yeah you're gonna be okay well, we did uh, take some damage here all right uh, excuse me I just oh I have to uh, I have to absorb first then I can raise all the sectors Um, okay, so he still has some units here, but we still have some units as Operations well. Operations primed and ready. His blessing. Okay, so yeah, you guys are up to full fighting strength. And we'll just, uh, we'll divide it along party lines there. Okay. Uh, you guys. Uh-oh. Move you towards <laughs> Ominously towards the, uh, the capital over here. And if their leader ever happens to be in their capital, then I'll be just Production ready. Fine. Okay, you need to build another exemplar. And then down here at the Great Archives, water sector upgrade is going to be great. And then I can finally build the uh, hydro battery. That's the other thing I wanted. Um, okay, so Jewel is down here. All right, so we can move these guys down like this. We can kind of threaten Jewel on the side here. Um, okay. We've got the exemplars down this way. Yeah, just in case we get surrounded. We got all of our points still. Uh, we're good. Uh, Polina's loving me. <laughs> all right. Handful, and it doesn't matter. Just, just click some stuff. Okay, so Jewel is attacking my colonies. Let's go ahead and use our tactical ops. We might be able to turn that. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I want to manual some of these, but I'm just like, it, uh, it's such a small battle. Like, it doesn't matter. In the grand scheme. Oh, and I have 230 influence, so that may be how we uh, go and defend it. I could just raise, like, 16 bees. My income, though, is, like, staggering. Like, I, um... Uh, Used to the Kirko, right? The the actually the uh, all my units right now are all, all tier three, so that wouldn't have even helped me. Um, prefab parts. What does this mean? Oh yeah, just produce it. Yeah, let's do that. Um, over here, the curse avoidant. Prefab parts over here. 
Yeah, it doesn't matter. All right. You can persuade whole worlds. Cool. All right, so we'll just keep going here, and yeah, we'll just kind of ominously sit on the capital site. All right, and then over here, you can get over on that, and you can go right in. What are you doing, you fool? Okay, you can still get in, so it's fine. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot there was such a Shikaran player. Taking quite a while. Okay. okay, we'll absorb and of course raise everything. Wow, look at all that water. Okay, looking good. Upgrade the commander, vitality. Sorry, I'm trying to rapid fire all this stuff out right now because in. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're right at the wire here, so. Um, okay. A lot of heroes to upgrade. Um, Alright, so they didn't attack us, so let's go and attack them. Um, let's take this over. Alright. Okay, we can get a little closer, and we'll just park there. Uh, down here, we can uh, jump in. We have some injured units, so operations uh, primed we'll and ready. My favorite, favorite spell in the game. Uh, hopefully, that's where all the injured units were. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> all right. Uh, yeah. I mean, we got one tactical point, so we'll use it here. I got to remember to spend my uh, influence. Okay. Jewel is dead. And in you go. Absorb. We got some sectors out this way, so raise, raise. And then uh, we'll start moving northbound with these guys. Here. You guys can actually go pretty far. So we'll have you guys go as far as you can. Perfect. Yeah, and then we'll uh, dismantle the colon or capital, and then that should be. Uh, done and then what am i doing here um another exemplar let's just go ahead and do it and then uh yeah let's just click on some stuff over here uh flower flower bud bud b okay there we go nice six tech um for us over here I don't know. Let's just have it go that way. Cool. End our turn. Yeah, we'll just keep flying here. One of the things that I found interesting about this game is that it has good music. Like, I like the music in general. Like, when it starts playing and it's bumping around and uh, it's pretty solid. But then there's periods like this right here where it just, like, ends, right? And um, not sure why. Uh, it does that, but, you know, occasionally it does that. So. Okay. Um, we can keep going here. Yeah, so we can get in there. They built a tier 4. Um, the Devar Earth Crusher. So we can get in here and eliminate Jewel. Um. Yeah. Uh, we can get in here and eliminate Jewel, and then that'll give us a victory condition. So what I could do is I could take these guys in and just do a, a man in combat to end the world. So let's maybe do that. Um, so we'll come up here. Can I? Yeah. Can you move? Yeah. If I were to move there, you could move there. Yeah, because there's only two more guys. So not the end of the world if uh, they all can't get in for the final confrontation because yeah we'll go there and then you, yeah you guys can move up so we'll do it like this uh so yeah let's go ahead and manual combat this we do get some extra points for wiping the others out but i don't think it's worth it uh we got a lot of planets to conquer in the long term so yeah i'm not really 
Russian to take care of the um, you know min maxing of that. Wow, two earth crushers. Never seen these things in action, so uh, it'll be interesting for sure. Um, probably should have used some blessings before I went in, but you know what? This will make it more interesting. Uh, crush and process. Ten strength chances to instantaneously die. Uh, that's a problem. And then, uh, cannons, huh? And then mortars. This looks pretty terrifying, actually. Oh, but you know what? I got these guys. Like, let's look at this Earth Crusher. Twelve. <laughs> but I have these guys over here, right? These, these guys with their mind bullets. Um, yeah. We'll probably be okay. Okay, so let's uh, let's move up, and uh, yeah, we'll soak some of the Overwatch. Oh, never mind. Yeah, we'll start burning these turrets down and uh, deal with uh, the repercussions here. All right, I can hit the turret, so we'll just keep. Going. Ooh, three shots for Overwatch. I guess I should have expected that. Um. Just move up. Ooh. All right. Augers, what do you even do? You can gift somebody last stand for one turn and give one enemy fatalism. I mean, if anyone, I'd like that guy to have fatalism. Let's see. So if I were to like move up here, I could like shoot that guy. <laughs> let's, let's just go up and see. So my attack does 18 normally, out of range. So we'll see it next time. Um, okay, so how far can you move? You can move there. And Crescent Process has a single action. Uh, so I'll be safe if I move there. Well, safe-ish, right? So let's move up. Um, and then we'll move this guy here. And Tropic Shot, I guess uh, you can shoot a B or you shoot that guy. Um, over here, you would be good if you just kind of move up and do the, uh, adjacent allies, huh? If you move up and give, uh, shields. So, that's not too bad. And then, um, over here... I don't know. Just to keep you in the position. You know, you're super vulnerable there. <laughs> let's, uh, let's just move you here. Uh, so you have a little line of sight blocking stuff and then some cover. Okay, shields up. Oh, yeah, this is a nightmare here. <laughs> but all these guys have, I think, final stand. Um, no, they don't. But they do have the reckoning, uh, which is nice. So where can you move, my friend? Yeah, you can move right there, huh? So everybody else can move up and start shooting lots of stuff. I'm going to take some overwatch, but... That thing's stagger immune, but yeah. Alright, so let's start burning some plants. Wow, that thing is so much bigger. It takes like no fire damage. Okay. Alright. Let's do that. Take some damage onto that guy. We'll move up over here. We can move there, so I'll just need to make sure I'm like more than two heads away from that. Uh, we'll start uh, blasting them. Okay. Move over here. So anyway, I just started blasting. Enemy eliminated. <laughs> All right, you can move up to that square, right? So let's just move here, and we can throw down some some fire in front of him. So he has to go through it. Uh, this actually mortars over things, right? Yeah. So I can hit like more targets back here. I could probably kill that plant. That's probably a good idea, right? Yeah, there's nowhere I can actually shoot though, so. Yeah, let's just do that. Come up here and we'll take some AoE, but we can kill this plant. Look at all those killed. crits. <laughs> Alright, protect the shields. And defense up. Alright. And that turn. Bombards, uh, a couple of bombards. Tracker beam. <laughs> Tracker 
That could be scary. It's a nice concussion. Pure fire, got some shots in on the side there. Okay. So I could chop those guys. That's probably the best option. So let's do that. Um, over here. Yeah, so these guys are gonna slowly like march up and just massacre the poor guys. Enemy eliminated. What's your problem? You're concussed. So you can't act. Um, okay, so... You, you can just kill him. So we'll have you move up. You go here. You can blast these bees. That may not be a bad idea. Yeah. We'll shoot some bees out of the air. And then over here, uh, you can just blast this guy, so... Anyway, I start blasting. Enemy eliminated. Jesus, crits. <laughs> um, okay, fatalism. Fail all of his resistance checks for two turns. Or I could just kill this guy. May not be the worst thing in the world. Back up. Enemy there it comes. destroyed. And then you can run up and chop. Um, there is artillery there so if I move you out uh, I can blast this bee so we'll do that Enemy down. and then over here I can move you I can blast that and then over here have you run up and chop them but we'll volt saber this guy Enemy killed. okay uh, yeah you don't have any options so so I guess you're you're chopping that's insanity. Um, okay, and then you can come up and chop too. I mean, just have everybody join the party. Let's see, we can, ch we can chop this plane down. May not be a bad idea. Alright. Yeah, we'll do that. Chop the plane down just to reduce attacks. And then we'll uh, start piling in on. I don't know, this guy over here. Okay, and then we have, uh, whoa. <laughs> we have abilities. Immune to all damage, blocks all tactical operations and damaging abilities, and heals all enlightened units. That could be hilarious. Um, pulse disruption lance could be good. Is that massive impact? No, and is staggered, so it doesn't really matter, right? So if I were to do that, I could probably just blast this guy. There we go. That's gonna be nice and easy. Okay. So less chance of just getting one of them that's heated. Uh, but it looks like it didn't uh, eat him. The defensive game. They're putting up an interesting, or they're putting up a decent fight, you know, all things considered. Uh, okay. <coughs> this auger. If I were to move him, like, here. Yeah, he can get a good shot. Enemy so we'll, uh, destroyed. Blast that guy. And then we can pile in on that. May not be a bad thing to just run up here, chop this fellow, make him think. <laughs> about what he needs to do on his turn. Chop. And then move on the other side of him and chop. Um, okay. Over here. Bolt saber in the back. Yeah, that's not bad. And then, uh, we can have him bolt chop or shoot. It's all really the same. Okay, and then you can chop him dead. As the Perfect. Oracle foretold. Move down. You can get blasted. Enemy killed. Okay, and then we'll move up here. And then have these guys come up and Enemy just start annihilated. blasting. So anyway, I started blasting. 
Alright. Cool. And so, yeah, we can do more. Uh, butterfly effect is... Oh, butterfly effect is not what I was thinking. Erratic misfortune is something I love. So we'll do it that way. Yeah, they put up a decent fight. Um, I probably could have taken less casualties, but... As the I don't know. They, they have a lot of damage output, so it's hard to, As to say. The Oracle um, yeah, but they only got two units left, so we'll, uh, we'll end it thusly. Um, actually, this fellow back here, he has an ability called Fatalism. Or not Fatalism, he has an ability called Gift of Advents. No, Fatalism. Yeah. So we'll give that guy Fatalism. And then we'll blast him. Enemy eliminated. <laughs> and then, yeah, we might as well uh, end it with the Power Ranger. Enemy eliminated. Okay, so... Am I missing a unit here? I guess the Bombards must count. That's interesting. Um, yeah, so you can actually just keep moving up. Oh, there's Trench. Uh, Volt Blast. As the Oracle foretold. You can run up and chop them, so let's do that. Enemy destroyed. Okay, now I'm confused. Is there a ramjet or something around? Here. I'm gonna auto back. Oh, there he is. Our forces <laughs> are victorious. I couldn't find him. Alright. Alright, so with this next move, uh, we should win the game. So let's go ahead and do it. I mean, it's two trenchers. There we go. We have finished that. So, secondary objective is complete. Uh, looks like when you continue playing, you actually continue playing. So, um, yeah. So, it looks like we do have to kind of win. So, uh, where's my win conditions at? Let's take a look here. Um, last man standing. So, there's basically... I need three more sectors. So I shouldn't have raised everything, but um, it's fine. I could get a unifier win probably by just negotiating with these people. Offer a non-aggression pact, and then with you. Oh no, you're the same person. With you, let's propose an alliance. There we go. I'm virtuous somehow. All right, and we'll just end our turn. Well, no, we're not. Uh, there's some cities up here that need taken, so let's go ahead and just start moving towards them. So that way we can also get to the uh, tenter thing. Alright. Cool. Uh, we got some exemplars and stuff. Doesn't really matter. Uh, yeah, they're worthless attack. And then down here. Uh, absorb. Yeah, and so that should get me close yeah let's get them down here okay all right and so yeah what I'm gonna do is I'll go ahead and pause the video while I'm counting down the turns uh, and then we'll uh, pick up when uh, I'm back all right we'll see you when I am near the victory screen all right see you then Hello everyone, yeah. Uh, I seem to have lost the last little bit of footage there uh, that kind of showed the end screens and all that, so I thought I'd uh, tack this on here um, kind of to resolve the episode. Um, yeah, so when we completed the planet, we did so with a uh, unifier victory. Um, mostly I was just trying to find the, uh, the quickest path to uh, resolution as I could, and unifier presented itself because uh, there's only two opponents left and we quickly allied with them. Um, yeah, and so with the Empire, uh, we are at Empire 150 now, and our Xeno play gained something like 12 levels, our Celestian gained um, something like 10, as well as like our Amazon gained like 10. So we gained a lot of levels for these, these three here. Oathbound also shot up quite a bit uh, in addition. Uh, from like one level one or two to ten. So uh, those are the primary ones. Uh, we got a little bit of experience for all the rest of these, but nothing significant really. Um, but what this does mean is that with Xeno Plague, right now we're able to take Plague Lords as a basic weapon, or I guess as a basic unit if we want. Uh, and I think oddly enough, this allows you to build them too. So uh, 
I'd have to maybe play around with that if I do a Xenoplague build, so that you can actually just build Plague Lords. Um, but actually, now that I think about it, you can't take Xenoplague and a Plague Lord, so that's that. Um, but it also gives us access to, like, Malady and a few other cool, like, uh, uh, weapons as well. And then with the Celestians, uh, we're just shy of getting, um, uh, the, the Star Guides, but, uh, you know, we have a lot of other good stuff out of the Celestian tree now. Uh, we could take Lightbringers, so maybe I don't need the spam <laughs> purifiers, uh, quite as often. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll see. And then over here with the, uh, the Amazon... Uh, we also got the Progenitor Bioregulator, uh, which I think is going to be a game changer for a lot of uh, factions. So, um, but yeah, that's where we left it here. Um, <clears throat> so with the next video, uh, I'm probably going to start up a new planet and uh, I'll just choose one that's based on, you know, what uh the the i guess the little like holy grail thing <laughs> if uh if there's like a grail or a relic uh that we're gonna grab uh that i want and i'll try and keep it a higher complexity level if possible uh which means that uh i'm probably gonna use a more experienced hero so if we go to our halls of heroes here um there was a request for davar so i'm probably gonna try uh doing a davar void tech uh build in the next one but if I don't have, you know, if there isn't really a good one, there's a lower complexity planet, I'll do like a Devar synthesis. Um, just so you know kind of what's coming here. But you can see our leaders are getting fairly high level. Um, our, our James leader is level 6, uh, and then everybody else is like level 4 and below. Uh, but this is going to be really amazing for us, uh, you know, as we keep playing here. So, uh, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, without... Uh, anything else really to say i want to thank you for like or uh, uh for watching the video and if you uh want to support the channel please consider liking subscribing and uh leaving us some comments uh, i am happy to respond to any of those and uh yeah thank you and we'll see you in the next one later bye bye